thanks to the Lord, for he is good. God's mercy endures forever. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are raised with him to new life. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. thanks, O God, that for in the beginning you created us in your image. You paint, planted us in a well-watered garden. In the desert you promised pools of water for the parched, and you gave us water from the rock. When we did not follow the way, you sent the Good Shepherd to lead us to still waters. At the cross, you watered us from Jesus' wounded side. And on this day, you shower us again with the water of life. We praise you for your salvation through water, for the water in this font, and for all water everywhere. Bathe us in your forgiveness, grace, and love. Satisfy the thirsty, and give us the life only you can give. You be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. 
Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray. O God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption. And by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, verses 1 through 6. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the peoples of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built. O virgin Israel, again, you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant the vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. There shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. second lesson is from the third chapter of Colossians, verses 1 through 4. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Adoring praises now we bring, and with the heavenly blessed sing, Christ has triumphed, alleluia. Be to the Father and our Lord, to spirit, most of holy God, all the glory.
Gospel according to Matthew, the 28th chapter, verses 1 through 10. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples who has been raised from the dead. Indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I thought I'd start with a little story for our children. A few years ago, I gave out an assignment to, to take a plastic egg and find a sign of life and bring it back to me for an Easter morning celebration. Well, we got a collection of eggs. So as I opened up each egg, I found a sign of life in them. Ava brought me a dandelion. A mirror brought along some grass. Aaliyah brought a bit of forsythia. Lucy brought a little stick with some greens on it. And Layla brought a branch with some pink flowers on it. There was still one more egg to be opened. And it was bought, brought to me by one of our or children who is a little learning challenged. Anyway, when I opened her egg, it was empty. I said, why? Why did you bring me this empty egg? And this little young girl who was a little challenged with some learning disabilities, said, because the tomb was empty. An empty egg, God's yes. An empty tomb, God's yes to us. To his creatures, to his children. In this year, we're feeling distant from each other. We have to keep our social 
distance, we're told, six to seven feet. We're told to wash our hands and make sure we have the sanitizer on them. We're locked in our homes. Perhaps feeling exiled from our friends, our church. The lesson that we heard read from Jeremiah was one that spoke to the exiles. Those who had been ripped from their homes, those who had survived the battles, who found that there was grace out in the wilderness. They found that even being dispersed from their home deployed from their temple. God's steadfast love and mercy was with them. God spoke to those people of old in our Old Testament lesson today, reminding them of that covenantal relationship he had with them. I will be your people, your your God, and you will be my people. The Jeremiah text is all about God's yes to his people. I came across another story of a young seminarian. Oh, how I wish I could be back in those days. in his first church. And he goes to visit an older man. The man wants to talk to him about his funeral. But the young pastor would like to talk about anything but that. Finally, with a little bit of frustration, the old man said, Pastor, You weren't here 10 years ago when I had my first heart attack. But I've been through a few of them since. In fact, I've even been able to look at the last chapter. And what I found was the word, yes. Yes, because it is true that the tomb was empty. God's yes to us. Yes, it was true that Jesus is risen. God's yes to us. God's life-giving breath in Jesus is that yes that is breathed on all of us. We are, right now, the deployed church. We sit in exile, but we are not without the last word, the last chapter. For today we celebrate with great joy and thanksgiving, even though we're not here together in the worship building. God's yes to us. The tomb is empty. The women tell the story. They see the risen Lord. They see God's yes to this world. The Easter joy fills their hearts as it fills ours this day. We get to peek at that last chapter now. We get to look into that empty egg and see that there is life for us because Jesus Christ is risen today. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The celebration is not like ones we've known. In 
We pray in isolation, we sing the hymns alone. We're distant from our neighbors, from worship leaders too. No flowers grace the chancel to set our blessed mood. No gathered choirs are singing, no banners lead the way. Oh God of love and promise, where is joy this Easter day? With sanctuaries empty, may homes become the place. We ponder resurrection and celebrate your grace. Our joy will come from worship that's in our crowded room. But from the news of women who saw the empty tomb, our joy comes from disciples who ran with haste to see, who heard that Christ is risen and then by grace be. and suffering we remember well Christ suffered crucifixion and faced the powers of hell Easter bears the promise Christ rose that glorious day now nothing in creation can keep your love Church is blessed to be a scattered faithful body that's doing ministry in homes and in the places of help and healing too. We live the Easter message by gladly serving. Let us confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of resurrection, from the very beginning, you give the church the gift of women as your witnesses, as preachers, teachers, and leaders, especially Elizabeth, our presiding bishop, Paul, our bishop, and Gary, our pastor. Open your ears to their proclamation this day and always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All your creation praises you. The earth hums, the seas pulse. The stars shine and the galaxies whirl in glorious harmonies to honor you. Let us hear and blend our voices in the song. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The countries of the world experience disunity and conflict. We set our minds on fear and greed rather than on your rule of justice and steadfast love. Build up all countries on your cornerstone of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We still weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Cradle the fearful, the suffering, and the dying, assuring them of your loving presence, especially Nona, Ken, Monsignor Richard, Father Brendan, Carol, Albert, Daniel, 
George, Dina, Sabrina, Al, Debbie, John, Richard, Kenneth, Helen, Barbara, Susan, John, Violet, Carol and John, Linda, Christy, Eileen, Irene, and John, Marianne, Susie, Meredith, and Gwen, along with the names added from far and near. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For first responders, for those who tend the needs of the sick, especially those suffering with the coronavirus, strengthen them in body and spirit, refresh when weary, console them when anxious, comfort them in grief, and hearten them in discouragement. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless the creative and helpful service of leader, worship leaders this day, musicians, ushers, greeters, worship assistants, preachers, readers, and all others who provide welcome and hospitality in our midst. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, you went ahead of us into the grave and defeated the powers of evil. We remember those who have died. Inspire us to live our lives in this resurrection, hope, and draw us to you in our final days. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. With full confidence in your love, almighty God, we pray, place all for whom we pray into your eternal care. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Praise and thank you, holy God. For by your word you made all things. You spoke light into darkness. Called forth beauty from chaos and brought life into being. For your word of life, O oh God, we give you thanks and praise. By your word, you called your people Israel to tell of your wonderful gifts, freedom from captivity, water on the desert journey, a pathway home from exile, wisdom for life with you. For your word of life, O oh God, we give you thanks and praise. Through Jesus, your word made flesh. You speak to us and call us to witness forgiveness through the cross, life to those entombed by death, the way of your self-giving love. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. Send your spirit of truth, O God, rekindle your gifts within us. Renew our faith, increase our hope, and deepen our love for the sake of a world in need. Faithful to your word, O God, draw near to all who call on you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the one who brought forth Jesus from the dead raise you up to new life, fill you with hope, and turn your mourning into dancing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. Amen. Christ is risen, alleluia, risen, our victorious head. Sing his praises, alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead. Grateful our hearts adore him as he lights once more, once more. Bowing down in joy before him, rising up from griefs and tears. Christ
Christ is risen, just as he said. Go in peace, share the good news. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia.